Good evening and welcome back once again. Potentially the biggest match of the season, at least so far, away to Atletico Madrid. They're currently second and seven points behind us, so it's a top of the table clash. And you can see that we've got a, a, a youngster that has been bought through, Ogbonna. We did actually bring him up from the youth squad a while back, but he went straight on loan and he's come back with it being the beginning of January. So we're going to try him out because he's on a bit of an up anyway. He's going to play alongside Kosanu, Schubert in goal as pretty much normal, Bakker and Emerson at the wing backs. The midfield is going to be Herrera, Fabio Vieira, and for a bit of a change, Houghton is going to start as he's on and up as well. Uh, Bichette is going to go on the right hand side in place of Carlos Perez just to give him a bit of a rest, and Xerxes and Mudrik up top. And here we are at the home of Atletico Madrid. Beautiful looking stadium here on PES 2021. I said it before, there's obviously some official stadiums and some made up stadiums and, and some of them are loosely based on, on real stadiums, but they all look fantastic. I even like some of the smaller stadiums that we got to see, especially in when we're in Division 2. It's nice seeing of some of the sort of lower ground football type stadiums. And the transfer window is open, like I said in the last video. We haven't made any bids for players yet. I have had a look around for regens that have come through, who's been added to our youth squad, etc. And I've got some ideas, but I haven't made any bids or decided to sign any youth players yet. Anyway, here's Emerson on the charge. Sexy. Oh, just wide. We need to get our shooting boots on. We've been a little bit inaccurate in the past few games. Really nice, nice pass back from Emerson. Just wide. But yeah, spotted some youngsters. One I'm going to mention, because I I know I'm not going to sign him, at least for the time being, but Buffon as a regen is there, but he's already at a club. Because the way it works with regens is, obviously when they retire, they come back. It's normally the next season. It could be in the January, it could be in the summer. And they come back. They can potentially be randomly at a club, or they can be in your youth squad. Now, unfortunately, Buffon would have loved to have him in my youth squad, because I'm pretty sure I would have signed him. He's already at a team, so what goes with that is, because their stats are still pretty good, they're not as they are when they were at their normal age, they are lowered, but youth team standards, they're very high, and they're normally worth a lot of money because of that, so... The likes of Buffon might be worth like 30 million or something. It's just not feasible to sign them a lot of the time. But if they're in the youth squad, you get to sign them for free. You may have to pay a bit more in terms of uh, wage compared to normal youngsters. But you've then got a good signing for free. You could even then want go and sell them in the future. It's a good way of making money if you want to do it that way. You know, sign a couple of youngsters a season just in the mind that you're going to sell them maybe the next season or something like that. And I have already signed a few players from my youth squad um, earlier this year, or rather the last year now because it's January. And like Ogbonna, so he may stick around, he may not. We'll see how he gets on. But you certainly want to send them out on loan if you can to improve them. If you get a decent bid in for them, think about selling them. It's been a good sit, uh, block there. Anyway, let's concentrate on the game. Oh, nice little ball round to Bajer. Can he play in Xerxes? He certainly can. Oh, straight at the keeper. That would have been a beautiful goal. Those two passes were absolutely spot on. Inch perfect. Just couldn't put it away. Straight at the keeper. Decent strike, actually, but... Anyway, he is back at... Noviera. Her, who's been pretty much here from the start. One of our first ever signings. Now Hampton hasn't really been on the ball much. It might be in his first touch, I'm not sure. Emerson. Oh, that's a poor. Should have uh, got a ball in. Vieira. Can't get it through. It's tight. 
Sexy. Oh, just on the turn there. It's not quite falling away. Vieira. Mudrick. Oh, good save. Keeper wasn't expecting that. And what are they doing? The AI love to do this and often they get away with it and they do that time. Nice header from Emerson. Mudrick, nice little flick to back it. Oh, Mudrick's touch was the wrong way. Could have been in there. That was Mudrick's favourite position if he had a just cut inside a little bit more rather than going to the left. I was going to say that's a good tackle, but I think I did catch the player. But yeah, other than just regens, obviously we've been looking at other players that have been on our list for a while and potential other players that maybe we haven't thought of before because players improve over time with other clubs too. And maybe at the time we didn't have them on our list because we didn't have the funds or just we weren't looking in that particular position at the time. We've obviously got a very good first team and a, a, a fairly good squad in terms of depth. Oh, that's a poor ball to Xerxes. But there are still a couple of positions that we may need cover in or that we could improve the cover we've got, potentially even improve our start lineup. That would be ideal. To improve our starting lineup outright, um, we would have to spend. Oh, not a free kick from there. Oh, this could be danger. Try and put them on the line. Nah, never works. Atletico Madrid have basically done nothing in this game and they've got a goal from a free kick. I've uh, seen that story too many times. Yeah, but to improve our score, uh, sorry, to improve our first team, we would have to spend a fair bit of money just on one player to get the levels we're looking at. Here's Houghton, Xerxes. Oh no, just couldn't quite get through. Nice idea. Here's Houghton again. Xerxes, one-one, and we deserve that. We have been the better of the teams, and Houghton did well. Nice play in the end. Wins it back here after. Not the best pass. Nice little reverse pass through to Xerxes and he just slots it away. Past the Stegen who's now at Atletico Madrid. So starting Harrington has certainly paid off so far. But that's just to get us level. But it's just before half time. Yeah, we've got nearly two-thirds of the possession, more of the shots. Like I say, Atletico Madrid, they weren't terrible, but I don't think they deserve that goal. We certainly need to step it up in the second half. Six he was back to goal, where he's normally pretty good at. Emerson on the overlap. Xerxes, oh, went for the spectacular. It was a good cross by Emerson. not going to watch the replay again if it was close I would have but um, nice effort but well wide in the end and Harrington's actually had the most touches out of anyone on the pitch so far here's Bajer he hasn't seen a lot of the action oh just doesn't quite make it as it he was a long way to find that pass Here's Harrington again. Now Mudrick being a little bit absent today so far. Nice ball in the back of though. Ooh, decent ball. Mbjer just couldn't quite get his head on it. He's not the tallest of players. We don't have a very tall squad or, or at least not much aerial threat. Here's Bajer though. Now Vieira... Deflects about three times there. 
before it makes its way to the key bit. Takes all of the sting out of it. Nice header by um, um Bongo, but Nelly actually found a athletic player. play it. Bouget. Hampton free. He's found a lot of space today. Mudrick. Well wide. Bit frustrated. Mudrick today. And um, just seeing Mbappe come on. Remember we played Atletico last season and I saw that. I'm like, they were playing uh, Mbappe on the right, I think, at that stage. Today he's not even making the team. He's uh, coming on as a sub. Again, pulled all over the place there. Hamilton, oh, it deflects again. We want to make some subs if we can soon. The ball has to go out. Nicely mopped up there. Beautiful ball around the corner. And Mudrick in there. I don't think there's anyone anywhere near the box at the moment. Oh, what a pass that was. There was no one there. We'll make some subs now. And we're going to bring on Ruben Castro for Xerxy. Mudrick's going to go off for Cousins. We're going to switch Harrington to the left. And we're going to take Bajero for Arcas playing on the right. Not his favourite position. Uh, we're going to switch him to a second striker, actually. We need him to do a job out there. With some tired legs. Thought about putting Carlos Perez on. But he's, again, not the freshest. He needs a rest. We do need to win this game, though. Here's Argas in straight away. Here's Backer. Backer again. Castro. And he's in. And I've just got an achievement for Phantom Striker, whatever that is. But Backer's just got a goal. I think that's his first for the club. I'm not sure how he wasn't offside. When the shot is played by Castro, let's have a look. Ooh, that was close. Really did think Castro was going to bury it there, though. Lovely ball across. Yeah, there's no space, though. But yeah, back is in there. Toe poke finish. And it was all set up by Backer in the first place, so he deserves that. But Castro already had an impact. He won't get a, an assist for that or anything, but certainly heavily involved in that goal. Oh, nice tackle by Harrington. Oh, that's not a good challenge, surely. And again, I got pulled back there just as I made a good tackle. Now oh, here's Goose onto the ball. Things are livening up a little bit. Castro... Nice play by Harrington. Did well not to lose that. Back a base and forward again. Harrington. I guess tackled. I was trying to pass it somewhere, but there wasn't much space. Out wide to Herrera. Now Arcas. Herrera. Good save. Oh, and he's offside. That is offside that time. I thought Harrington... That is very close. It is, but it back looked more offside than um, Harrington did there. That's a shame. Harrington, yeah, to me, Harrington's been the best player for ourselves. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets man of the match, but it's not normally how it works. It's normally stats driven, very much so. So, if it stays how it is. Probably wouldn't be surprised if Backer got a man of the match or um Yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Three players on Castro there, couldn't do much of that. And my players have taken each other out there. Easily done. Well defended in the end, just blocked the the route to oh, nice little flick. Now Arcas, Castro, Hounton, not much left in his tank. And you can see from there uh, how they got away with that. Not not that it was a foul, but they got lucky with a bounce. 
Oh, they're playing dangerous games there. Again, I don't know how we didn't end up with the ball. Lovely header from Bonnie. He looks like a strong, strong player. A nice ball to Vieira. Arcas now. Bursting forward. That's... How are they allowed to do a shoulder barge there? But here's Cousins. And there it is. 3-1. He hasn't been on the ball that much since uh, coming on. He's got his goal though. And he doesn't score too many of them. He's more of a playmaker rather than getting goals. But we have been hassling him in this second half. And they've took a few risks and got away with it before, but not this time. Not the best of angles here. Just seen to Stegen's arse, basically. Lovely finish. And this is a big match. This will put us 10 points clear of uh, Atletico Madrid. The draw probably wouldn't have been a bad result for us. They're the ones that have really got to close the gap so but we always like to get those wins and there it is 3-1 wonder who's going to get man of the match and usually when we play well we have a massive amount of possession and we have done so in this one also 14 shots we've been on target bear in mind that really the only decent chance they had was the free kick that they scored Xerxes just getting man of the match ahead of Houghton. I would have said Houghton was the man of the match. He stayed on the full length of the match. Back of getting a seven, mainly because of the goal. But he was pretty supportive in the, in the left-hand position there. He got up and down the channels quite a bit. As did Emerson. Great all-round performance in the end. Definitely improved in the second half. Looking at the subs, Cousins with the goal, he got a seven. I think Ruben Castro deserved better than a 5.5. He was involved in the goal and he looked a threat coming on. But that's it for today, guys. I will update you if there's any dealings in the transfer window in the next video. Also, just to let you know off camera, I have been doing some negotiations with our current players in terms of contracts, just tying them to longer deals. Some of them, um, just trying to increase their salary a bit to keep them happy. Some of them, I'm trying to increase the release fee so people don't poach our players. But that's just all going on in the background. If there's anything massive to tell you, like someone refuses to sign or any of our players get lured away elsewhere, obviously i'll keep you updated with that and likewise any signings we are looking to make if we make any progress that'll potentially be in the next video or two but thank you very much for joining hit that like button drop a comment down below and subscribe to the channel i'll see you all next time cheers